Hey guys, what's going on? This is Honorable Agro, and yeah, uh, we are here in Aberration. And yeah, so I had a couple of videos uh, recorded. I don't know what happened to them. I guess I didn't record them or, or I didn't save them, whatever, something. Anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, I am here. Uh, Kale is in my tribe for now. Like, well, not for now, but. He is in my tribe. And that's one of our gold, our bold dogs. So I did originally have a base built up over there. But it got wrecked by these guys, the Ravengers, and that guy up there. There was two more with them, but I actually ended up killing those two. These two I was able to tame. And yeah, so I mean, we've got our bold dog here. We've got our Dodie there, our Stego here, which actually is really good at getting you know, all the berries and mushrooms. Yeah, today I'm actually going to show you guys a few tips and tricks and a few things like that. Sorry, I'm just gathering up all the seeds. You guys will see why here in just a second. Let's see. Okay. We're good there. Give me some more movement speed because you are slow as shit. Uh, let's see. This is our base location right now. Um, I do need to end up blocking off all those so we can't have stuff drop in on us. So this is our base so far. Okay, we'll sleep in underneath the bed. We got two more bulldogs in here. And the reason why I was looking for the seeds is this guy here. One of the cutest little animals that I have ever seen in Ark. But this guy seems to really like um, seeds. He doesn't eat meat. He hasn't been eating this stuff. But you guys will see as soon as I put these seeds in him, they're going to start disappearing. I see. This guy seems to like seeds a lot more than he likes anything else, so. Which is what we're going to be aiming today, is going after an iguanodon. But for now, I am going to show you guys some of the, some of the, some of the tricks, so you guys will see, let's see right here. So these uh, acerbic mushrooms will act as uh, narco berries. So if I take these, and then I can take these. If I put them all in here, you guys will see that I can craft, you know, so many of these anyway. But. Yeah, so these will act as uh, narco berries. See if this guy still has any on him. So these ones, the arctic mushrooms I'm taking it are like stem berries. These ones, I'm not exactly sure on if these are like any other berries, but if you eat them. You'll get poison immunity, which means I'll show you. If I can find you in here. Find the red mushrooms. These ones. So these mushrooms here, if you walk through them sometimes. Right there. As you guys can see, I am hallucinating now. And it will, if you guys are not set up for it and prepared for it, it will kill you. Like your base character, when you first start, if you run through this, it will kill you. It will drop you down quick and it will kill you by suffocating you. And it makes you poop a lot, as you guys can see. So the poison immunity, I'm not sure exactly what they do. 
on that. All right, so let's get back over to this guy. And these ones, the Agrovic, Ag Agrovic, something like that, mushrooms, um, they heal you, so they work kind of like uh, meat, like cooked meat. Uh, so, I mean, you can use those if you're in a bind. I mean, you can eat those. These will also give you the poison immunity fertile. So, I'm wondering if that's... Uh, let's grab some of each of them. The fungal wood is just the wood that you get from the tall mushrooms. You can It works just like wood. So, let's see. Since we have poison immunity for the fertile, so yeah, see, it, it's not bothering me now as long as it's on the fertile. Away from the scorpion, I do need to do this. That is one thing I do want to tame. I want to see if they're any better than. Because the stagos are actually pretty good, and the paracers are actually pretty good as well. And I need spoiled meat. This is going to be kind of a side team. Sitting right here. That will do. Thank you very much. So when you guys start, yeah, I definitely do recommend that you get... Where's my coat? One of the little light guys. Because, yeah. <laughs> so these will also work in this idea. Using them as narcotics on your tames. And you'll grab my goat. And when it gets dark in here, guys, you definitely want one of one of these guys. You got that little goat guy. You got the bulldogs. I didn't level that one up because that one's actually chaos. We got him actually. Uh, when we tamed it. It was a 108, so it was a pretty good tame. So you definitely want to get one of these guys. Because you guys can see that little light that's uh, going around me. Uh, you will run out of water pretty fast. Um, any of these. So we are in the fertile. So up here around 25, 32, I'm guessing. Something like that. And that's all the map that I have been able to explore, kind of. Anyway, I haven't really gotten deep into it, but those guys there, we have not messed around with the crabs yet. Um, <coughs> but from watching other videos and, you know, other YouTubers and stuff, you gotta knock the crabs out like you do golems. With catapults, I'm taking cannons will work, you know, things like that. Yeah, you're, you're right Let's go see if we can make a scorpion saddle real quick. I gotta learn it. Scorp. Smithy, you know, that's... So I just need wood. So as you guys can see, the fungal wood here. It will work as normal wood. So let's go get that scorpion. <clears throat> so 
So the aberrant variants of the dinos gives us these. So I mean, he's got his normal attacks. Actually, it doesn't even have this. There we go. So no right click, left click, C, X, nothing. Definitely want my health. But one good thing about the that I've noticed on most of the aberrant dinos is this. You can actually use your weapons on their backs. So I've been able to do this with the Stego as well as the uh, the Ravengers. This guy is really slow. This guy's not gonna kill us, so. So yeah, this might take a little while. Alright, you know what? For your help, Ravager. So this guy, we'll take him out later, but those are good to get, but they are a pain because they travel in packs. So when you get this earthquake here, it's also a good thing because it will drop all of this good stuff. Crystal, obsidian, all the gems. Sorry about my phone going off right there, guys. Uh, wood, but look, okay, see, when you pick up this wood, okay, it looks like normal wood now, but if I were to now drop it, it's a package. So that's one thing that they need to work on is getting this, when you drop it out of your inventory, to look like what it actually is. Quite that much in you guys. I'm gonna throw this in here for now. I'll also be showing you guys how to tame the different guys. The uh, the goats we don't have in this area. Uh, I actually had to. Not that one. Not that one. I actually had to travel down to this area here to get the goats. Let's see. I'll actually come level this guy up later. So another, let's see. There, I had a list of things that I wanted to show you guys. Obviously, dodics are always good for the stone. That's how I was able to make all this. You stay here. Actually, let's, let's take you out. All right, and let's see. So, with these guys. Get in my way. 
So I'm not sure if these guys will. We'll do that. Let's see. Enemy player detection. So if any enemies are near you, that will go off. Max level wild creature detection enabled. So they'll start making noises, I believe. When I want that on. Uh, when you're next, like near a max level creature. So the charge capacity on these is how long their light will last. So you guys want that up, <clears throat> like turned up. Health, these guys aren't really battles. So you don't really need to worry about health. I kind of do just because I want them to survive. Uh, melee damage can't actually change. So they changed melee damage to charge emission range. So I'm guessing if we up that, the range will... Yeah, it'll get bigger. You guys can see how it got a little bit bigger there. Uh, these guys do have the same, so range, capacity, movement speed. So let's go see if we can find a bulldog after. See, I gotta see if we can make the iguanid on saddle. What do we need for the Iguanodon saddle? Wood. So the reason why I want an Iguanodon is because the Iguanodon can turn berries into seeds, which will allow me to feed my goat, because I do not want my goat to die, because he is adorable. So we'll take this guy out. We're gonna kind of run around. The paracers, I haven't really delved into the new paracers yet to see if they can do anything new. Oh, there's a bulldog. So you guys can see, take these aquatic mushrooms, put them in your zero slot. You can run up to one of these guys and feed them. Now our rates are turned up a little bit on Bud, Bud Plays Game servers. If you guys are looking for a server to play on, I actually play on two different servers, uh, so Bud Plays Games and Demo Storms. You can actually go sub to both of them on Twitch, or you can become a Patreon backer of theirs. Uh, you can also become a backer for me. Um, I will have my own server set up soon, which I will probably mod it a little bit. It will be heavy mods, but it'll be like the Super Spyglass and a stack mod probably, something like that. So, this guy's actually decent level too. So yeah, just like the monkeys, they are a passive tame. And you just got to wait till they get hungry again, which there we go. So this one will take four just because he's such a high level. Now these guys are good to have around and I will show you why in the next night time. If I can get them to spawn over here. I haven't ran into any nameless over here. Because at night, the nameless will... Okay, you stay there. You come with me, you're going to go back to base. So I will show you guys that wingsuit here in a minute as well. Which really does come in handy. So you go over there. I need you to have some food on you, so put some of those on you. And with these glowy guys. If you guys need them charged, just come up to one of these guys and press E. And you will see that their charge goes up.
Alright, now I have our stuff on us, just in case we do find any Guanadon that is decent level. But as I was saying guys, if you guys would like to play on a server, you can come and sub to Bud Plays Games or you can sub to Demo Storm as well. They both have servers. We are still figuring out how to tame these guys because these guys are nuts. They're actually pretty cool. They actually dig into the ground and pull up these gems. If you were to grab these, they act just like beavers. As you guys can see right here. They're not too dangerous if you guys have like a higher level Ravager or something like that. Oh, decent level. Bogdug. I see a trike. We are in the fertile area, I believe is what this area is called. So these plants here, I am not sure what to do with them. I am not sure. Like, I'm not sure what these things are for because as you guys will see, if I can get to it. So one thing with these mushrooms, you can collect them, just don't get too close, otherwise they will go off. So I can... You can't really do anything to them. Like, you don't collect anything. I mean, I've, I've sat here and I've hit this thing for like a minute or so. I mean, it wouldn't do anything. So you can't collect them with your with your hands. Nothing like that. Let me put my pike on. So you can't do anything with this. So I am not sure on what those are for. I do need to do a little bit more research on that to find out. Alright, so it is kind of dark in here, so... Let's turn him off. I'll see if I can show you guys some of the nameless. I'm not sure if they will spawn right here, but... I've noticed also that there is no Brontos, but we do have Paracers, and we have the Diplos. All of those. The gems do come in handy. So to collect the mushrooms, you can collect these ones here, those ones, or you get the big, big brown ones. I don't see any right here. Now let's try and help you guys out. You guys can you come over and attack me. Come on, man. So when you do got different attacks with this guy, you've got the bite, the claw, and C attack is a howl. And if you're in a pack, the, the other pack members will howl with you. As well as if you have a pack with you, you will uh, get a, if you're the strongest one, like how that guy's going right here, means he's a pack leader. You can kill another one too. Too bad I'd kill you. As you can see, the pack leaders do have a bleed that they can do. I have a level. I'm gonna go melee damage. Now, the circles seem to be everywhere. Ooh, that's a crab. Holy crap. So these guys, they will 
like pick you up and toss you and I mean they're against smaller dinos and stuff those guys are actually pretty pretty lethal I do want to see if this parasaur can take him out though what level is he? 48 against a 44 Yep, we got that kill. And we didn't hit the Paracer, thank god. Don't think he picked anything up from that though. <coughs> ah, so yeah, you get the organic polymer and the chitin. Chitin, chitin, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going to go too far. We're gonna drop all my meat though, because I picked that up relatively easy. And I'm gonna drop that. You get the pelt from the Ravagers. Sorry that it's dark, guys. I am trying to show you guys the the nameless. There is an aberrant spino. Show you guys the gas nose as well. So if you guys are being chased, you guys can run through those, and as long as you're fast enough, it will activate them, and whoever is chasing you will get hit by. It. It's a little PvP thing. So these little gas nodes here. Um, I'm not sure what happens. I think these are the ones that impregnate you. But I do not recommend doing that. Until you guys are fully ready for it. But you can also collect the gas here. And let's see. I'm not seeing any iguanodons right here. I want you off. No, oh, you must have had full charge. Yeah, you did. Turn you off because I do want to see if we can get some nameless to spawn. Uh, I think that's a manta. Yeah, it's a manta. Come here, nameless. Where are you, nameless? Actually, I can gamma up for you guys. Uh, let's, let's do gamma four. Yeah. It is a little whitewashed, but you guys will still be able to see. Okay, so these big mushrooms here, you can collect them from there as well. These ones here, I'm not sure what you can get from this. I think it's just normal. Yeah. So rare mushrooms, fungal wood. It seems like these are better for fungal wood. Two hits and I already got ten. That's pretty decent. Hey, get off the bolt dog. Dick. So I will probably get... No, don't go behind me. It was a 143, that would have been a good team. So I do not have any raptors here. That Stego will mess up that raptor. I will tame one of these guys eventually as well. Let's see, Quanadons. Parasaurs.
Come on, Nameless, where are you? There's an Iguanodon. What level are you? I'm nearly 16. Not high enough. I need you to be higher level. So the drops do not happen all the time in this game, guys. So if you guys do see a drop, make sure you grab it. Okay, we're gonna drop a bunch of stuff so we can grab this metal. Uh, metal also is not that um, abundant. Keep that. Dead, keep those. So these, but our rates are turned up, so we do actually get quite a bit from these nodes, as you guys will see. I see something going red right off to the left of the screen. We will have to go investigate that. So yeah, see our guy is actually pretty full. We got a polymer. And drop that. Just so we can move better. And I can get more later. I think that is mainly what I want to show you guys. This has just been kind of uh, tips and tricks that I've learned so far. As I learn new stuff, I will actually bring those to you guys as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure you hit that like button down below. And yeah, if you guys have any mod suggestions for this, I'm trying to keep it as close to vanilla as possible, but make things a little bit easier. So if you guys have any mod suggestions, then let me know. And yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.